Hello folks and welcome back to the electronics lab. We have a few exciting things going on here um, but I'm going to deal with just one of them today and that is our Lexus GS450H inverter conver converter. Now when we last uh, saw you here with this particular unit we had managed to uh, work out how to run the MG1 and MG2 inverters and uh, so since then I've had a uh, bit of a break from it we've been back at it now fairly recently and we've made some progress so we've worked out the MG1 and MG2 current sensors worked out a lot of the, the IGBT drive stuff temperature feedbacks things like that and so the final piece of the puzzle was the booster converter and that was a bit of a pig as it turns out it has not one but two enable lines but we've got that guy working and what we're going to demonstrate for you today is just the uh, booster converter functioning we're going to talk about then what we're going to do we've got to get a logic board designed for this guy so at the minute here, what we have is the Toyota logic board uh, reinstalled. It's been lobotomized uh, so that the Toyota control chips no longer have control over any of the inverter converter. It's simply there to provide uh, connectivity so via the connectors here and to provide um, power supply rails like 5 volts, 12 volts, minus 5 volts, stuff like that. All of the enable lines for the inverters and the converter have been bypassed so they're punched up and ready to go. And out the back here we've just got some lines uh, brought out so that we can use external uh, control systems let me bring you in here so that we can use things like the analog discovery and inverter boards and so on uh, to basically power things up so I've got the big cap removed here which is this big guy here and uh, I've just got it connected to the high voltage rails uh, just with some jumper leads and we have a 60 watt 240 volt incandescent uh, lamp here uh, to work as a load now at the minute we have the booster punched up and we're putting in 5 kilohertz square wave at 82 percent uh, high um, duty cycle so uh, got a multimeter here I'll bring you guys up to see it so we got just 34 millivolts on there at the minute because I've got no volts going in uh, so I'm going to start bringing up some input voltage now I now have uh, 30 volts going in and as you see we got about 105 106 volts coming out if we look over here see that our little filament lamp is starting to glow uh, meaning that we are basically boosting the 30 volts that we're supplying in here up to about 100 volts now as I can things I can do here if I jump on the computer I can increase the duty here we start to get more um, power out of it now I've only got a 2 amp power supply at the minute so it starts to draw 2 amps there now it just basically goes into current limit but we've got about 183 volts uh, coming back out now so that's 30 volts being boosted to 180 to 183 so that's our booster converter um, running so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down I'm going to put the lid back on so we can connect things up and we'll try and do some more uh, booster boosting boost 
boost testing. Okay, so right now we have our inverter converter put back together. I put the cap on and basically bolted stuff up. We are putting in 20 volts at about 4 amps ish and we are taking out we're now boosting to 247 volts and lighting our 60 watt light bulb uh, pretty much at full brightness um, so that is our yeah I mean that's our inverter converter it's uh, it's actually what's our duty cycle at the minute Duty cycle is 37% at 5 kilohertz. So that's boosting. Yeah, that's actually doing very good. That's more than 10. So 10 is about your max on a book boost converter typically. Uh, so there we go. So that's about it, folks. Just a little short one for you today on our Lexus inverter converter. Don't forget to join us in our next exciting episode. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check links in the description for PayPal and Patreon and GitHub and Open Inverter Forum and God knows what else. So, I'll leave you at that. Until next time. Happy boosting.